Welcome inside my endurance cave. I'm Dave Erickson and this is my dream setup. Today you're going to see a workout that I did that was under 15 minutes. I could have been faster, but actually I was making the workout up as I went. I was just looking for some sort of variety. You know, a lot of us are staying at home right now and we're not allowed to go to the gym. So this is my way of uh, finding some sort of creativity in my workout. What it was, was five sets of 10 six different exercises so it turned out to be 300 reps and as i was going through it it's going hmm maybe i should do five exercises and do that so many times and as i went going okay this is going to be a good little workout and i just added a few more exercises as i went so i started off with bench press and then i'm using my trx here and i'll talk more about these uh, to do some push-ups and just 10 10 reps of everything and then while i was in the push-up position also working my core i thought well let's do some uh, knee ups and so i did some knee ups in that position and from here i'm thinking okay what else can I do to work the abs? Well, in the past, I've done individual videos and demonstrations on V-ups with a medicine ball. And this medicine ball, as you can see, I'm thinking about it right now because this was all in real time and going, what can I do here? Well, I'll use my medicine ball. I'll do it maybe in front of the camera. That's what I'm thinking right now. So what it is, is I think it's a 13 or 14 pound medicine ball. And so it starts over my head, arms extended, Legs will be out straight, and then I'll lift my legs up and bring the ball to my shins or close to my feet as possible. So I did that 10 times. Of course, you can see this is great for the, the abs, but it's also great for your chest and range of motion with your upper body. So doing this 10 times was, was a really good idea to stay in that position, especially after doing the V-ups. So the push-ups with the TRX followed by the the knee ups with the TRX. This is a natural progression to do some ab work with the medicine ball since I had that in my gym. So taking the TRX one more time, I thought, how can I do the opposite of a bench press, which is a push? Well, we'll do a pull in a way. So I'm leaning back and I'll get better as I go through this. I'm leaning back and doing basically some upper back movements using the TRX. And you can make it more and more difficult by bringing your feet forward and leaning back farther. So after I did 10 reps, I thought, well, I'm in this position. Let's keep on doing the pull motion, which is the opposite of the push. So the push-ups, two sets of push-ups. Let's do two sets of back with now reverse grip. So as you can see, my hands are underhand grip. Do that 10 times. So that was the first six exercises. And I thought, okay, let's go. I'm counting them right now. Let's go ahead and repeat that uh, again. And then I'll keep on adding up the math here. So right there was 60 reps. So with 60 reps, if I do that five times, that'll be 300 reps total. So I went right back into it, very little rest with the bench press. And this is a 45 pound bar followed by uh, two 35 pound weights. So 115 pounds, not a big deal about the, the weight so much as I'm looking to get, you know, some, get my heart rate up and get a nice little pump going with very little rest. So I get back into the TRX loops there. And I think my third or fourth set got a little challenging to get my hands or my feet in there. But now I'm back on the knuckles. I like to do knuckle push-ups for some reason. So I'm going back in to do 10 of those, which is immediately right off doing the bench. So my chest is already pumped. Take a half second breast, uh, break here. Take a breath. Now get into the hands, good wide position. Am I going knuckles? Yep, knuckles it is. Get my knees to a good position. And... Going slower is good, but in this case, I'm just kind of cranking them out, keeping the core tight, keeping the feet and knees flat, extending, and now immediately turning around, and now I've got the medicine ball with me, so it's an easy, quick transition to do the uh, V-ups with the medicine ball. And there is a, another, a good way to get the abs going, and I've done this before when I just did it out of the blue one day, and the next couple of days, I was feeling my ribs, <laughs> definitely my abs, all the way down to my hip flexors uh, because of the stretch you get there. So at that point, let's use the TRX to bring myself back up. And you'll see here as we get going more and more, I'm bringing my feet closer and closer to that black mat because I want to get a, a deep lean, backward lean. So when I'm doing these extensions for the back rows in a way, upper backs, I can get a nice range of motion let the lats really stretch out and then squeeze at the top, squeezing the shoulder blades. And then there you go, flipping the hands underhand now. 
this uh, is again working the the back but now you're also going to work a little bit of the biceps so this whole workout here is chest buys and tries because tries are part of the uh, the chest workout and then the back based on the movement there i can use the biceps with the underhand uh, grip on the trx so now that's two sets a bit of a breather thinking about it okay should i do three sets uh, it's not enough reps it's only 180 reps well shoot i'm gonna have to go a, a total of five sets now that i've got six exercises to make the full 300 reps anyways to uh, avoid having to repeat all this again that's the basic format that i did today my my idea my goal here is to share with you the importance of being creative and then when you do structure your workout think about how the exercises tie into each other and how they can complement each other so i'm doing a flat bench with some weight and then i get down into the trx which is a combination exercise where i'm using core sort of some stability in my lower body and then i'm also doing body weight push-ups and i'm using my on my knuckles just i don't know i did that a long time ago and i've always done that a little harder and look at i can barely get my feet into those straps so then you're pushing through nice pump again and this should be a little faster from the bench down to the uh the push-ups after you do those combinations so you do you're hitting the chest twice but one is a pushing off other one is pushing with your body weight like i'm doing right here and because i'm already holding my core which is great with trx equipment by the way i have links to my trx that i bought uh below this now that i've used the core in the first part of the trx i can kind of complement and double up in the core by doing these knee ups and shoulders there's some stability there so it's just a combination of chest chest the second chest uses core the third workout uses core and then i really nail the core by turning around and using the medicine ball to do the uh, the v-ups with core and stretching and so on and then finally uh, since i've done the pushing motion with the chest upper body now the opposite of that the yin and the yang is the pulling exercises with the back and that overhand grip followed by the underhand grip the overhand grip of course you know all, all the back and then with that underhand grip you get a bonus of hitting the biceps so it all ties in together with this upper body creative on this on the fly workout but i've done so many different workouts that it's like oh it makes sense to me i know what i'm doing and it was fun and i can use the <laughs> trx to pull me up and, to finish uh help me get some back where i was and then my feet come a little bit closer hopefully to the black mat there it is do the pulling and you can even even get bring it even closer and have a, a deeper lean to make it harder that's the great thing about trx is it doesn't matter how big how big you are how light you are your size there's so much adjustability and you determine how hard it is uh, based on your stance with trx and i've had trx i don't know three three or four years now great investment uh, no regrets whatsoever there you go that's my workout uh, i do just do is uh, two more times for a total of 300 reps and this was literally uh, 14 minutes and 20 some seconds and you can see how i'm taking breaks in between i could have gone faster with very little rest to make this probably 13 minutes or so there you go uh, those are some ideas of what you can do at home when you're limited on where you can go of course obviously investments on getting some of this equipment but get creative you can do all this most likely you could just get trx get some uh get a medicine ball do push-ups you don't even need all that much stuff all right thanks for watching take care adios yeah.